Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. So last time we cut it down evening light. So that means this storage is now available. So we need to cut something up. So I've chosen to cut up today my Dreamers Design Painting from Val because it has 59 colours and this is a 60 bottle case. So I have just brought out the painting just to show you the image, the schematic. Um, you're not going to be able to see the entire thing on the screen. But, oh, trust it to be in the corner. There's the other roll. That's it, look. La Porta Rossa Celestalita, which I was told I absolutely butchered last time. So I do apologise to anybody. I believe this is Spanish. Um, so I do apologise to any um, Spanish speaking, speaking people. I cannot speak Spanish and my accents are diabolical. So, yeah. <laughs> You're just going to have to deal with that. That's the way I say it. But I did think I should show you. So, obviously, if you've not seen the unboxing of that, it is called Gifts from Val. Because this was given to me by a subscriber, uh, which I'm very grateful for. I've not had a Dreamers Designs yet. So... I'm anxious to try um yeah and I'm very very grateful so I have already done a bit of prep work on this in which I have cut everything already up <laughs> so everything's already cut up the bag and the reason I've done that is because dreamers don't give it you in um size order like diamond art club to be fair with the bottle storage anyway I don't go off size order um with the bottle storage i just put them in um whereas with my who can slash elizabeth ward containers the size does matter but these aren't given in size order anyway so it's not like i could do anything about that so i just cut them up to put them in that bag to keep safe so dreams designs sends this this is the list but i believe it is a sticker I want to say it is. I really hope it is. Let's go here where it's coming up. It's a not that sticky sticker, but it is a sticker. So we are only going to be able to get, aren't we, on there the DMC number on the sign, not the canvas number. So I'm going to get my scissors because there's no way I can shove this entire thing in my guillotine anyway. So what I'm going to do is cut this side off like so you'll have to bear with me here guys because i've never ever ever kitted up a dreamers designs so i have absolutely no idea how this is going to work and if you recall the first time i kitted up a diamond art club that did not go great Although I do have a few tips and tricks up my sleeve now that I think would work for the Dreamers design um, as well as Damned Art Clubs. So one of them tips and tricks oh, being that the easiest way to deal with stickers and sticker paper even though this is a bit of a strange one is to leave the backing on but to cut, this is kind of hard to do cut the sticker off so we leave the back in there in fact I've seen somebody do something proper good on Facebook and I'm going to do it so they took the back in and they actually just shifted it across a bit like that so you're still leaving some of it on the other side if that makes sense like that I've not done it amazing because it's super duper long if you leave some 
<laughs> and then cut off the rest. Um, that might work. Let's have a look. It's because it's all wonky because it's a really, really long backing strip. Super long, like. I should have really cut it in thirds or something, shouldn't I? Yeah, that would have been better. Okay, and then from there, we can now chop the stickers up like so. So 59 colours in this one. So this is like, I think, the second most colours I've ever had in a painting that I've kitted up. So... So far I've just kitted up Fujiflora which had 66 um, Before this Evening Light was uh, 50, 52 I want to say, 51 or 52 um, And this has like I said 59 So we're only going to be left over with one spare bottle that's fine. I like. I do like the fact this sticker sheet is laminated. They have like the laminated it, so that's pretty cool. That's probably why it's on like the weird backing. Although for some reason, I'm not blooming cutting sh like straight or very well. Um. So these are just going to go on in order. <sighs> Sorry about this. Sorry about the tedious task. It's one of them and I say it every single time I do this. But trust me, it is probably better that you do this at the start so you're not having to cut them every single time. Um... Yeah, it's not helping that the backing is just like this little bit of plastic so they're like stringing all over the place. But uh, we are getting there. I don't know what number I'm up to but considering there is nearly 60 in this kit. You've got to cut me some slack guys. So yeah. We just want to cut cut the stickers all up and then it's going to be a quick job to just literally peel the sticker off and pop it on the top of the bottle like so nearly there I reckon there's less than like 20 now well, they'll be even less. They are quite big stickers, these. But that's quite good because the symbol's very prominent. So. A lot of colours. I do find that, though, with the landscape images. If you're wanting a good quality landscape image, go for one with more colours. And you will tend to find that you get a nice quality image out at the end. So, yeah, this is... I've not done many landscapes. I was very grateful for Val to give me this. It's like I said in my last video. I want to be showing you guys, like various options for paintings okay so I'm just gonna put the stickers on each box now so I want to show you like various companies various paintings um, to help you decide where you're wanting to get your paintings from where you're wanting to spend your hard-earned money so I want to give give a wide variety. 
so thank you very much again to Val for sending me this truly truly appreciated yeah I'm really liking these stickers they stick nice we'll see how they come up in the months to come when I de kit this one because it will be a little while before I do so like I say lots and lots of stickers just peeled the rest of that back in off that I've already stuck down so it's not floating in my way so I wonder if um, out of you guys who enjoys kitting up <laughs> I, know, I know a few of you message me like Alicia, can you just do my kitten up for me? Because I hate it and you seem to absolutely love it. I do love kitten up. I will... I buy storage literally just so I can kit up. Like, I don't buy storage and have it on my shelf. Leave it hanging for when I need it. Now, if I buy storage, it comes in that day. I'm like, oh, let's kit up another one. Love it. I absolutely love kitten up. So much fun about halfway Whoop. so many colours so many colours in this and I'm excited to see what they look like in the bottles and how much I can get how many how many of these bags I can actually get in the bottles is the other question which we'll have to uh, see about now dreamers is a bit different their ABs are at the back so a bit strange I was contemplating moving everything down and putting them to the front but I like to well sometimes I can be a bit dim and when I'm trying to look for the symbol on my bottles, I can't see it straight away. So what I do then, if I can't find it, I look at my canvas and count down where it is on my canvas. So, And because I don't have the canvas numbers on these, it's me just counting in my sixes because I know that there's six. Um, six down. So, for example, if I was looking for canvas number 22... I would say 6, 12, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, it's there. So if I put the ABs to the beginning, then I've kind of screwed that up. Especially if by the time I come to doing this I don't remember. And then I'll be worried that, oh, I might end up putting the wrong colour down, which is never, ever good. So, last five. And obviously it has been 15 minutes into the video just literally sticking up bottles. Yeah, that's what happens when I do ones with huge amounts of colour in them. But we are done now. We have done with the stickering up. Okay, and we can get on to popping things in. So... Here's the question. I'm just going to have to put these on the side, aren't I, like this? Woo! Okay. So, 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 I did have a tray. Oh, it's here. So, let's just get straight onto it. So, we've got five, uh, three bags of 318. So, what I'm going to do is, to start with, they do not rip very nice so I'm just going to cut off one bag and see how much of this one bag I can get in oh and there's a little straggler from the last time 
so I can get that amount in so what I'm gonna do is I've got a box of baggies and I'm just gonna put them in and I need some stickers so you'll have to give me a second to get myself some stickers out of my box we'll use these circle ones because they're on the top even though it's a square painting you know how I roll so three one eight so that gets stuck on the bag and all of them can go back in that purple bag so three two one is here oh my god i'm like literally in a mess right now of everything on this side yikes bits Sticky they seem in this bag, these ones. Come on. Can't even get that one out. There you go, you're out. And that one's nice because it all fits in. This one, 164 is the first number. Could rip that one quite easily. There we go. Done. Snacks three, three, four. So, yeah, a few of you have said like some people really like the kitten ups, some people really like the whipping charts. You know, it's very varied what you guys like find as your favourites. I have to be honest, it's uh, hard for me to choose. Like, what should I, what should I do the most of? So I just try to vary it up. Like I said in my last video, I'm probably gonna just put a bit of a knock on the whipping chats just at the moment um so i can get all my videos more current but obviously this needs kitting up so i can't really stop doing that well i could i could leave it but um then it's not in the order of how everything's going in my life like if i get a I like to look back at my YouTube channel at like, oh, what order did I do this in? What order did I do that in? And so if I get a parcel, I'll think I got the parcel before I kitted this up. It'll all be very confusing to me. I know what I'm doing in my head. So I do apologise. It makes sense to me. Um, probably not to you. So. See if we can get all these in because this looks like a quite a big packet i think we can squeeze them oh 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 no yeah that was a really bad idea alicia <laughs> that is not gonna even close is it right so what i'm gonna do here if i can pick up the ones is tip some out and they're like jumping at me and then get a bag now this is the only downfall with using this tray I think I'm gonna have to switch trays um, because it doesn't have a spout or anything so 
let me use one, one of ours and I'll just pull these in like that sorry um, um, resin tray it's just not your day we'll use one of mine with a nice little funnel because that's one of the main reasons I made them because I'm clumsy <laughs> and I need a way to um, not spill things like I just did. Three, five, two. It's there. Yep, I am the hugest cut. So, do you know with these though I really can't stand up to pour into these bottles because it always goes wrong so I just stood up then I was like oh, I need to stand up don't do that Alicia because it'll all go to smithereens 209 these look like they've got a bit of static in them but these should definitely all fit in just saw a little bit of trash there but it's all right I'll get it out when I'm doing it I think it is a bit weird though I wasn't expecting so much purple in um, this painting pretty cool but obviously with it being a scenery maybe it's in the flowers that's what I'm thinking 51 is 3853 Let's see how many extra bags of stuff that we need to uh, to use. I sense this one may need one. Oh, I don't know. Maybe we can get it all in, but it's got static. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shove them straight into the tray. Like that. And then from the tray, go into but they are very staticky they're very jumpy as you can tell maybe oh there's a red one that's gone through okay so guess his battery died on her phone uh, on her camera fine um i definitely need to buy a new one but they're like 50 pound it's ridiculous i've got it on my amazon wish list but um yeah <laughs> I can't buy it at the moment so number 10 so 414 but anyway um I don't even know what I was talking about because I got sidetracked <laughs> I went to grab my phone saw some messages I was like okay but I do need to hurry this up because James's exam finishes at 12 and I'm not even ready to go out yet And we've got to go out because we've got to get some food. So 58. So this is what I mean. This is the last AB and they are called AB08. Which I reckon to me these look like the same as Diamond Art Club's 141. Which is their like Y AB. So they would they would look the same and I'd probably mix them in if I had any, which I don't yet, but I do have in other paintings. Okay, so um, I'm trying to do the ones that I think I won't need to like bag up. But I've got so many. Uh, 8.01. Yep, so, so many <laughs> colours. 59 to be precise. 59 blooming colours in this okay so they're not all gonna go in once again loads and loads of static i think it's because they've been all around the houses these ones so this is 801 so what i'm gonna do once again is i'm just gonna tap them into my tray it's 
not great because obviously plastic to plastic to plastic one's like jumped out right far there we go 801 get a bag and try oh, to pull these in without having a static fit there we go definitely easier when you've got a funnel probably wouldn't want to try doing that on a tray without a funnel because they would literally jump all over so 500 with the weird sideways H that would be awkward if and I think I am actually gonna have to work on this painting sideways because it is longer lengthwise than it is width so that means I'm gonna have to be very careful because this is a green like sideways H and then we have an actual H but obviously that is like a white H the other one's like a black H so it's just like things you've got to take notice of sometimes and I mean I don't think anything like of it because that and I don't blame the companies if you've got 59 colours there's only so many blooming symbols in the world you can use right that are completely different and won't cause any issues whatsoever only so many oh the static this is going to take forever just because of the static and I haven't got forever so I may have to get ready go shopping and then do this when I come home <sighs> which I think do you know what I am going to have a break and I am going to go get ready and then we'll continue it until James comes and then whatever's left over I will do at the end I think that's the best way to do this so I do apologize I'm going to pause this here obviously it won't make any difference to you guys but I also can tell my phone battery is not great so i'm gonna charge up my camera battery and i'm gonna get ready and we'll see when i continue this okay so a second for you guys and a very very long time for me now i have only got eight minutes right now and then i will have half an hour after tutoring but um i will just come on here for eight minutes see what i can get done because I don't want to be doing this after my second round of tutoring. Um, so what happened was we, obviously I stopped the video. I got ready to go out, pack some orders. Um, we went to the shops. I'd had nothing to eat, so we did have dinner out. Um, so this is like the last, that was like the last supper, so to speak. Um and then basically we we realized oh lord i got tutoring so we had to rush around the shops i got what i needed to funnily enough not come home with them because they didn't have them in my size in stock so i had to order like a top and um some jeans uh to be delivered tomorrow but um well the top was ted baker which i know what size i am in ted baker um i'm a three because i have a couple of tops from there that fit absolutely perfect okay so i'm not going to try putting all them in that pot so i'll get a bag so um i did get what i wanted which was good but we did have to rush around because i was like okay well i still need to go to costco um and then we're gonna do the actual food shop now tomorrow morning so 
we didn't quite get everything I wanted to get done uh, actually done so four three four which is a bit annoying but can't be helped so I've rushed home and I've officially got five minutes now until tutoring um, and then I'm <laughs> tutoring then I've got half an hour and then I'm tutoring again so busy busy me I have not done anything damn painting related today apart from obviously the kitten down kitten up um, and that's it so I haven't actually diamond painted yet I will after the second round of my tutoring so I tend to get everything done and once I've finished like most days I tutor so once I've finished tutoring that day that's then the time that I sit down I get to relax I put my jammers on and I sit in bed and I diamond paint so that's how I do it um so I did get like I said my stuff so actually so we went for dinner first or for lunch because I was absolutely starving I had no breakfast no nothing I'd literally had a cup of tea this morning and that was it so um six four six so we literally needed food like straight away as soon as I got there and then while I was sat there I think we did go in we were waiting actually we got 15 minutes early so we went into one shop we went into Hollister first and James wanted some jeans and obviously like I said I wanted some bottoms they didn't have any and I just said to him while we were eating dinner um I think I'm just gonna buy some jeans from like because I knew I wanted some basically the same as what I've already got in my wardrobe but <laughs> fit me when I was skinny and they definitely don't fit now and then I just thought to myself I lost that for dinner if they're like exactly what I want why don't I just see if they still sell them on misguided that's where they were from so I was like I'll just do that and then I'll buy a bigger size um now the question was do I go one size bigger or two sizes bigger but with misguided it's good because I have unlimited next day delivery but also free returns and it's not that hard to get them returned either it's just a quick print off a label and take to your post office so I just said to James well I'll buy both sizes then they'll come tomorrow morning because it's next day delivery and whatever I don't want you can take back because they're identical so I've done that so that's the bottoms then we went round we went into All Saints first actually and I saw a really nice top um <laughs> looked at the price it wasn't a nice price it was like £200 I was like um I don't think so no thank you not paying £200 for a top um I knew it was expensive but me thinking it's expensive I'm thinking maybe £60-£70 for a top like that's expensive to me there's not like a big name designer like Michael Kors or like Diesel or something um right so yeah let me just quickly say so then we went into Baker who had a sale on brilliant um and I saw a top that I really liked it was like a peplum shirt so it was like a blue shirt anyway they didn't have that size in stock but I know, like I said, my size in Ted Baker. So the guy just had a look if they had it online, which they did. And ordered it for me for next day home delivery. So we came out of Meadow Hall with nothing. But we'd actually bought something. So I'm going to leave it there. It is half past and I'm going to tutor. And I will be back with you in an hour. <laughs> but it will obviously be a 10 second thing for you. Okay, I'm back. Oh, let's see if in 25 minutes I can get this done who's guessing not <laughs> so yeah I was telling you wasn't I about like shopping and stuff so yeah 
we ended up coming out james actually got some jeans so we didn't come out completely empty-handed and look like very weirdos that went shopping at Meadowall and didn't buy anything um so at least that's a good thing but we did um 54 3 8 5 8 at least i know i've got what i need now um so i know like the jeans will look really nice i didn't try on the top to be honest but i did really love it as soon as i saw it so i'm pretty sure it'll be okay it's like peplum style it's like a peplum shirt and i wear like peplum tops all the time because i feel very comfortable in them um i think it's a style most people associate like my of my family associate with me now so i think that'll look nice with a pair of like the leather look leggings and um a pair of heels 919 i think this one will need a bag but yes it um it was nice to get out you know go to the shops and actually um you know have a look around for clothes um again even though we literally went into a couple of stores I just can't believe that in all saints 200 and odd pound for a top it was a very nice top like both me and james looked at it and thought oh yeah that's pretty and then we looked at the price and we're like <laughs> no because <laughs> james is uh was buying them for me anyway he was really nice and because i got a bit upset the other night because i put on that much weight yeah so like no clothes fit me um but i'm not going to take the mick like i'm not i'm not that type of person you know i could have easily probably turned around and be like oh well, please james because you know i can't find anything else and he did say to me he's like look because we haven't got a lot of time we do know this is here so if if you cannot find absolutely anything and we need to come back um we know it's there i mean the issue was right and i i can't understand it um all the shops most of the clothes that they were selling are holiday clothes still like the borders have just opened up a majority of locations are on like the red and amber list like i think i only know portugal is somewhere um it's on the green list as i'm filming this and I can't see them being really, really lenient because the government have said that they don't want to just go opening stuff up because it will just end up where we have to be in lockdown again. So, and, you know, companies are being very, very picky with allowing you to, to fly. It's hard to get travel insurance. Most people, I mean, some people are going away, but most people are not having holidays abroad this year and uh, the weather in the uk is not nice enough i tell you to be lounging around a pool outside in a bikini and wearing like little sort of you know the holiday outfits that you wear in an evening like people don't need them clothes most people's summers are going to consist of what like my summer will be which will be you know every now and again going out to a bar or something for a meal with friends and family and so we want clothes that we can wear out to meals and stuff um and not like clothes that we would wear to a meal in 30 degree heat in an evening it just it was it baffled me i thought come on like why is the entire shop full of like really summery holiday clothes like i want a new wardrobe but i need it to be practical um for this country thank you very much um and it they just really weren't <laughs> so it was it was very tricky like the first couple of shops that we went in just yeah useless had nothing nothing i could wear i just wanted like a nice bit of a bit of a fancier goey outy top because like when i'm with family or if i go out for a meal at a nice restaurant 
you know you just want a nice top it's all i ask for <laughs> it's not too much a nice blooming top so seven six two so yeah it was a bit annoying at first and then that's when i said i was like well let's just look in a bit more not fancy fancy clothes shops but let's just go for ones where they do tend to have more like goey outy clothes so that's why we nipped into all saints but oh i ain't paying them prices no 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 ma'am no ham no turkey as miss coffee would say um yeah but i'm so glad so glad that i actually successfully bought something so now i've got to sit this evening i think and really think about um what i'm gonna buy from the supermarket tomorrow and i said to james actually it's a good job really that we didn't just go straight from costco to the supermarket because i didn't get a lot of things that i wanted i got some nice big like punnets of fruit which cost probably more money than buying the punnets of fruit from the the uh, supermarket but i really do like costco fruit i think it's really really nice um and then what else did i buy oh i bought uh, a big packet of um don't judge me but uh red bull zero red bull like the sugar-free one because a couple of years ago now my first year at university when and i remember it was around the same time like we were revising for exams in fact i think it might be more closer to easter but i was like you know trying to seriously diet again and i would have a red bull zero just one every day um because it was sugar free so it was allowed on slimming wheel which was the plan i was doing and oh my gosh these match my tray like exactly but they're so static but then if i put them in my tray i'm not going to spot them because they are the exact same color look at that of my tray i don't know why my phone is going off um so i do apologize it's on silent but obviously it still vibrates on silent so yep there is a couple still that's it they're all out Oh, and I've dropped the lid they were very static -y. like you can see them in the pot like up the sides I might get some unstoppables actually from the shop tomorrow because unstoppables work I'm moving my phone like away from the camera it won't stop everybody always wants me I always say this when I'm like filming or something nine four seven so yeah um i didn't get much i'd literally got fruit and them and some like bell peppers because i plan on doing quite a lot of meals with peppers the main thing i want to get is like meat i want to get quite a few like courgettes because I plan on like roasting or like bait, um, frying some courgettes as like a side. I also want some Brussels sprouts. I had a look at like, you know, keto side dishes or low carb side dishes. And like a lot of them are like, you know, fry some vegetables and put like, fry them in a bit of like soy sauce or something. Um, which I think is really up my street. So I'm going to try doing stuff like that. Oh, I bought some chia seeds. I have absolutely no idea what to do with chia seeds, but I know loads of people use them. And when I looked at like the um, carbs in them, there's hardly any. So I need to work out what I can do with chia seeds. I know people put them in smoothies. But I don't really think smoothies are low carb. So... I need to work out something else but I know that they like apparently expand um and they're very filling 
so me going to try something like that i also want to get from the supermarket that i was going to get from costco but they didn't have any like a big bag of like pistachio nuts or some um have a look i don't know they had like almonds but i'm not really into just eating almonds or oh what's the other one that i just don't care for um can't think um cashew nuts i'm all right with cashews to be fair but no they didn't because i would have bought cashew nuts what was it some that look like that but aren't cashews because i will eat cashews uh eight nine five i can't think but yeah i like cashew nuts so it wouldn't be them um but yeah i couldn't find any nuts so i'll have to get a lot from the supermarket i mean we still spent 50 pound at costco because everybody knows with costco you just end up spending a fortune um so yeah we're, we're all good and like i said gives me a chance to think okay what can i do like for example what can i do with chia seeds um because i'm gonna have to have a good thing um, in terms of what I need to buy from the supermarket I was thinking yoghurt but I actually had a look at yoghurt and it's quite carby but I guess if that's like the main bulk of carbs that you're going to have a day like if I say okay my breakfast is going to be you know carbs I'm thinking for lunch daily I might just do like a bit, a bit Miller and Carter here but do like a lettuce wedge with like some dressing so just have a look at different dressings that I could put on. I don't like salad, much salad in general. Um, sorry, <laughs> but I don't. I get on with lettuce and cucumber, but I don't like, like, I don't even like peppers unless they're cooked. Oh my goodness, look at the static of this bag. Oh my days. Um... Yeah, I don't like peppers or onions unless they're cooked. Um, and I don't like much else. So I'm thinking for lunch, I used to have cream crackers and like the Dairy Lee cheese. But I don't think, oh my goodness. Oh my days, static it's just the jumping oh and they're on the end because oh and they're sticking to my finger what on earth is happening i've never had drills like this before i've had static drills but i've never had like drills where genuinely it's like you've rubbed them over with a balloon you know like that where your hair stands up never had that i definitely think that I'd need to put some like unstoppables in this. Um, because they are really, really bad. Oh, if they're going on the floor, they're staying on the floor. Ones that go on my side can be picked back up. There was about 10 that jumped on my floor. They're actually coming back off. Oh my goodness come on guys i'm hoping you know being in these little pots for a little bit you know they'll they'll learn how to behave before i come to um to do this one but who's guessing they don't who is guessing they're horrendous Oh dear, um, 3837, there we go, um, but anyway, so, yeah, it just gives me a chance, like, so I was thinking for breakfast, like I said, like some yoghurt with maybe the chia seeds, 
maybe a bit of fruit I really hate working out at breakfast like that always ends up you know first meal of the day as well when you screw it up on a diet then you just think I'll oh, screw it for the rest of the day which is not a great attitude to have um so I definitely think that's one of the downfalls but yeah then lunch like I said I'm probably thinking like cucumber slices with some like dairy leaf triangles uh, maybe carrot sticks um stuff like that I'm thinking and then for dinner I'm thinking like meat and some sort of vegetable that I can just chop up and put in a bit of sauce or cook with something um yeah I know this sounds really unthought through but I'm I'm all for easy dinners as well to be honest I don't like faffing so me just cooking a bit of meat and then just frying some veg quick just to go on the side yeah that's that's more than enough for me plus i need to learn how to portion control so i don't need to go off having loads and loads of food <laughs> it's just not necessary it's really not so it'll do good for me really i think We are getting there guys I just realised though when I chucked my phone over onto the bed <sighs> I need to see the time for my next tutoring I'm hoping this can get done within the remainder of the time I've got left because then I can just sit for the rest of the evening and diamond paint because I don't really want to do anything else <laughs> I'm lazy um, right let's have a look at single bags here's one so 48 38 two six is down here i'm going to do this bag and grab my phone to have a look what time it is and turn the light on because i think it's getting a bit dull very dull in here one second yeah so I've got six minutes so it's not going to be done is it so I will have to come back again stop and start again 42 yes yeah, stop and start another time round but anyway oh you know what I can't wait till finish with uni and honestly you guys are gonna have so much like to watch because I'm just gonna be diamond painting all day every day and I can get quite a bit done you know when I have nothing else to do it's like yesterday I finished evening light um and I was doing it all day and I got eight sections done of my sections which usually per evening I can only do maybe two at most like three so yeah I can seriously ramp that up a bit eight two nine which I'm looking forward to because I've got a lot of paintings come in and I've got a lot that I want to do well to be honest I want to do them all obviously we all want to do all of our paintings that we we purchase right um but i do have a lot a lot a lot coming um that i want to get through 
Um, so yeah, I definitely need to up my game. But, you know, we all have lives to lead. We all have other stuff we need to do. And I'm sure, I mean, I'm sure there's some of you that can sit all day. Maybe just, you know, do a bit of hoovering. Um, bit of washing up in the morning or whatever. And then sit the rest of your day not doing any diamond painting i'm sure there are a few of you um that are lucky enough to be able to do that but then i'm yet again as sure there's a few of you that can sit down for an hour and evening you know we're all we all are so different and we have to do our crafts differently you know so I do envy you though, the ones that can sit all day in diamond paint, I definitely envy you. Um, I do obviously want to go out a bit, see my family, take my nephew to like the zoo or to the park or whatever. I really want to play with him. Um, but yeah, and my best friend who's got a baby really really want to like do stuff with them but apart from that i'm just gonna have loads of lazy days where i'm sat doing nothing but diamond painting because why not okay i'm doing one more bag and then i will come back to you 977 with the and it will be the last installment because it'll take me however long it takes me I won't have to stop again so I will do this one bag and I will be with you for the last installment in an hour which for you once again it's gonna be like five seconds so see you in a sec okay part whatever we are on <laughs> because I've completely lost count but we are nearly 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 there I have <laughs> <laughs> I had to get a bin bag to move all the rubbish from that side. Um, I'm still going to plonk it on that side and then I'll just bin it back in at the end. But yeah, um, I, I'm ready to uh, have this one done, I think, tonight. My brain is done. <laughs> I'm done. So let's uh, just carry on. 782. But you know what? It's, it's one of them processes, like kitting up, where you can leave it. Obviously, what would be pretty dumb is if you hadn't already stickered up something or, you know, and you left it mid, mid job. That's why I always make sure I sticker up my bottles first. And like now, when I'm putting this into the bag, um, because I have, I've done this wrong before and I've definitely messed up where I haven't stickered something up and I've forgot and I've just chucked away the, the paper or the wrapper or whatever. You need something out to tell you, um, what the DMC number is. So, you know, so this one is 782. Because it is very easy to get mixed up and then you are screwed you would probably have to sit there and you know look at every single individual DMC colour and try to match it up which um don't know about you I'm not really up for doing um three three six three so I'd rather make sure I get it right but obviously we all I'm sure most diamond painters oh, for goodness sakes at some point will have done the major screw up where they don't know what colour it is um, or you know we've all done stupid things that like I've literally just tipped all these kind of all over the place that's an easy one to do I've also put two colours in one before and had to to sift through them 
there's all sorts that we can do wrong and um you know it's not the end of the world you know we all make mistakes we all do that type of stuff so three three six three so it's definitely something that if you have made a boo-boo or whatever before we all have we've all done that sort of stuff so three three six four yeah i do have to admit though there is some really vibrant colors in this and um but also a lot of like consecutive dmc numbers which is really good because that shows a gradient and very similar colors so you know some some decent shading will be going off so there we had three three six two three three six three 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 six four um so like that nine three four where are you up at the top so yeah when you see like consecutive numbers that's usually a really good sign that you know your painting's gonna look really nice it's gonna have like some good shading yeah definitely a good thing so I need to go around <laughs> with this bin bag in a bit cleaning up all of my rubbish <laughs> like my damn painting rubbish honestly on my little side table I've got still all of my bags um like these little spare bags from uh, evening light <laughs> um, obviously that I've taken drills out of because my bins overflowing so that needs emptying it's only like got paper and you know stuff like this in it but that needs empty and so I'm going to put it all in this big bin bag that I've got um, and then um, pull out all that rubbish off of the side everything everything needs to have a tidy up so I need to do that quickly before I settle down and then once I've done that I'm good I literally just finished tutoring and I went downstairs and made myself um some chia seed pudding for the morning i'm going to try that for breakfast so um yeah it was like four tablespoons of chia seeds two oh no a cup because it was two half a cups um of i've done oat milk oat milk when i've had it before is really really sweet and then I've just like put like a handful of raspberries in there and then you like leave it overnight and it's meant to kind of go like the chai seeds meant to swell and it's meant to taste a bit like rice pudding -y, a bit like that I'm hoping anyway because I need a good breakfast idea um and the milk isn't quite as bad as yogurts so I'm hoping that works pretty well. So 59. So I'm just going to put on this one AB37 because that's the, that is the name. There's quite a lot of this uh, AB, so hopefully we'll have a very spectacularly sparkly painting. AB 37. Okay, we're on to the last view where we've got multiple bags of each. So let's do uh, this one. So 
so we may be able to get this full bag in oh 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 can we can we can we probably we can if not for the static i think we can it's just they're very staticky so let's just try to knock them in come on got one like right static drill get in there we go i'm not wasting a bag if i don't need to not happening they can go in there three eight six at the top yeah it's definitely a big pain this one lots and lots of colours so I believe a 60 by 80 because I had 59 colours there's a lot of static in these so we're just going to try to put them into the tray like so I don't think they're going to fit into this bottle and to be honest I don't even want to try way too staticky so we'll just go into a bag if I can even open the bag Three, eight, six, two. Oh, they went much better from the tray into the bag than I thought just then. I thought the static would just be an absolute mare there. So three, eight, six, stay. Believe. Let's have a look. Yeah, I've got three more colours and that's it so number out and then a bag and then nine five one here we go almost there guys <laughs> I know you've been in for a long one with me today so but I do really appreciate you obviously watching my videos sticking with me um it's been a great few months 814 814 814 814 um yeah it's been a great few months of doing like my youtube channel I really appreciate all the views all the likes all the comments I mean some of you really give a lot of help with your comments like you know just let me know tips and tricks um and yeah even just the feedback just to you know to say that you you like what I do really does mean a lot because I don't know I feel like sometimes it can feel very isolating um you know especially when you're a small youtuber you just don't know you don't know if people are engaging with you you don't really get an idea of you know what pe if people people like what you're putting out um and stuff like that so it does really 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 mean a lot to me and then the last one 310 obviously what other color can have four bags other than the wonderful 310 right oh gosh I've just literally like bumped them but they're not going to go in one bottle anyway so 
There we go. One more bag. I always remember as well when I'm painting what I do when I've finished like a little bag like this I'll check the actual bags that I have um, from Dreamers so the ones that are unopened and I will see if I have that number in them if I have that number in them bags I keep this little bag because inevitably I'm going to have to open them other ones and we'll have extras so I keep the little bag if I don't have any of these then this bag sometimes if I can take the sticker off I um, keep the bag if I can't take the sticker off I'm not faffing I have a huge little box of bags so that is that all done look how pretty it looks let me just move this rubbish because I'm super impressed with how cute these are I mean we've got some really nice colours I like the pinks they're all very staticky but they're going to be in here before I even deal with them probably for a few months a couple months at least maybe even a bit more so that gives them time to calm down if they haven't calmed down I will probably buy some like unstoppables and just pop a like one in each container to hopefully like calm them right down but what I do need to do is write on the top of this box what it is because I have quite a few paintings kitted up and I would genuinely lose track of what is what so let's have a look in my box of stickers or in my box of everything I have a big bag of stickers and I tend to use these ones here um, which are like biggish labels if you can see so I don't know why I put my pen away so this is La Porta Rossa Sola Solita and if I then pop that on the top of my box I know what it is I have to <laughs> if I don't I'm utterly screwed <laughs> I'd literally go into my drawer and be like yeah I don't know. I'm putting my baggies away. What I've used while I'm in here. So, thank you ever so much for what, liking, subscribing, commenting, and of course, watching. And until next time, guys, see you in the next one.